the YouTube community and especially the fans I have in the Flat Earth community. <laughs> Another video on how 12 stars debunked the Flat Earth. As you remember, um, I made a uh, first video, Flat Earth Debunked Forever, and um, I, I felt compelled to make another version uh, called the 12 stars, because I think the arguments here are even stronger um, than, than in the first video. But the first video for me should be for anybody who would uh, be willing to have a unbiased look at the first video uh, he should already come to a conclusion like oh fuck something is indeed wrong with the flat earth model uh, but I got a tip uh, from uh, from uh, one of the people that follow me and, and actually I, I turned that into this uh, presentation again we're not going to talk about uh, NASA mathematics uh, no faked perspective etc etc um, as you see, we'll use the same model and all the facts you have seen the last time. I made some changes now because now we're going to look, especially in the month of June, when the sun is at the yellow uh, circle here, which is approximately um, 4,500 miles from the pole. Um, and we're going to look more at the moon than we do at the sun. But as flat earth facts say, uh, they basically have the same motion around the hemisphere um, we know our friend Morris but this time he moved actually to Quebec because he had this problem of time difference each time when he was discussing with Sam so uh, he stayed at the same distance from the pole uh, but now he's in Quebec and he has the same uh, uh, time zone as our friend Sam which you have also met in the previous video and, and we are already at fact 9. Um, last time we showed that Sam apparently had a miraculous eyesight. He could look um, more than twice as far as Norris could. Um, and for the guys that hate to look at pictures of guys only, let's meet Alice. Alice we bring in because Alice also loves, lives on the south and uh, we'll need her, her to make some uh, comparisons with Sam. So these are the three people we are going to use and we're going to look through their eyes uh, in the same way they, we did it the last time. Um, we introduce uh, some new arrows. Uh, the blue arrows will now mean looking in the direction of a star uh, uh, group and the pink one will mean we will be looking at uh, the direction of the moon if it is there uh, because as you know the moon doesn't move as fast as the sun does so in one year this uh, presentation will be 100 percent valid and another one not but we assume that we have the right year um, to look at it so sam and norris now have a time difference of zero hours but however and that's a bit of a pity they have 13 hours time difference with alice and uh, here we have facts 10 to 15, just pause the video if you want to look at it, but um, we are going to look at the moment in time that it is um, 7 o'clock in the morning for Sam and it is 18 o'clock in the evening for Alice, both on the shortest day of the year, 22nd of June, so it means at those times for those two it is still pitch dark. Now, another fact everybody should be able to understand is that if we all look in the same direction, for instance of the North Pole, then they all should see the same Polaris as a part of Ursa Minor. And of course, depending on where you are, it could be rotated a little bit, but you're still looking through, through uh, in the direction of the North Pole, you will see the same uh, constellation. Of course, the model is debunked. If anybody in this, at the same time, just a little bit farther away than the other person is looking at it, can't see it anymore. 
that is impossible. Either it is there and you can see it, or it's not there, or you're apparently not on the same flat disk. So, if this happens, this person cannot see the North Pole star, Polaris, or Ursa Minor, then there is no flat Earth. There is simply no other explanation. On the other hand, it is obvious that if you have two people looking in different directions, they must see different constellations. If I have two people that look in absolutely 180 degrees different direction and they see the same, then of course the flat earth cannot exist. Because on a flat earth this is absolute impossible. Now, Norris has moved, and we now see that at midnight, if he wants to look at the moon, he has to look south. If he wants to look at Polaris, he has to look north. For Sam, it is the other way around. If Sam is at midnight, same time as uh, the time zone as Norris, and he is looking north, then he will see the moon, of course, and if he is looking south, he will see the Southern Cross. So if we put that here in this picture, then Norris in Quebec is looking north to Polaris, south to the moon. Sam is looking north to the moon. So far everything is correct. But there is no way that Sam can see Polaris. How can that be? It is a flat I wanted to say fucking, but it's a flat earth. He should see it. We already know that Sam can look all the way up here to see the sun. So why shouldn't he? And, and also the moon. Yes, in December. So why can't he not see Polaris? That doesn't make sense. So what we see happening is this. Somebody at the same time, in the same line of sight, is looking north and cannot see that star. That means flat earth is debunked. But it gets even more weird. Because our friend Sam is there and if he looks at 6 o'clock in the morning he will see the moon there and if he looks right south he will see the Southern Cross. And we already mentioned our friend Alice for whom this picture uh, is valid. And uh, that means if Alice is there and it is uh, 7 o'clock in the evening, she might find the moon there. If she looks south, she will see the Southern Cross. And now, behold the magic. When it is 1900 hours in Perth, south of Perth, and the time scale is the white one, and it is 7 o'clock in the morning, and the time scale is here the yellow one because they are 13 hours apart. If they both look south, they both see the Southern Cross. Look at this 25,000 miles apart, looking in the complete different direction, 100 degrees, 180 degrees different direction, and they both see the same. It is impossible. The flat earth cannot exist. The only solution is if they were both on the bottom of a globe looking to a, uh, the southern uh, polar star as far as it is defined. But they both could look, let's say, downward and finally see that same star constellation. On the flat earth, it is simple. It is impossible. People cannot look in different directions and see the same thing. I wonder what type of commands I will get. Probably it will go about satellites, GSM, uh, NASA hoax or whatever. But I hope the people who respond will stay on topic this time and come with some convincing evidence that on the flat earth it is actually possible for those two people to see this.
Thank you very much.